So today I want to talk about anxiety. Um, and this past week, a lot of things have that have that just happened through daily life have sort of connected back to anxiety in one way or another, and um, it's just given me like a clear way to articulate anxiety. I think. And I think I'll start off with this idea that stress is good um, because I'm currently reading a book on essentially why exercise is good for you, right? And this book talks about how the stress from exercise is what induces the adaptation so that you can tolerate more stress, right? Um, and it's the same principle, right, with mental stress, the stress of daily life. Um, it's this idea that if you voluntarily confront or not even confront, but voluntarily step into the stress. It's almost like you can transform it over time. Um, I was watching this podcast by Marcus Aubrey. Um, they were talking about how marijuana, or I should say cannabis, about how like cannabis can get you into this state that gets you really anxious and all, all inside your head and trapped in your thoughts. And I, for a long time, whenever I smoked cannabis, that's how it would make me, make me feel. I would just feel super anxious and stuck in my head and feel like I couldn't escape. Um, and they talked about how like, Cannabis is so powerful because it's not the the actual state of high that sh that that makes it what it is, um, but it's rather it's it's the cannabis when you're in that state it teaches you where you're holding on to, like where you're mentally stuck and anxious about, and if you try to when you get into that anxious state in on cannabis and you try to escape escape that anxiety and whatever thoughts that are holding your mind that's when it gets worse but if you can approach the cannabis experience with intentionality and go into it knowing that each thought is just another thought and it, it's not actually who you are and if you can just sort of just observe it from that almost third person point of view then cannabis is one of the greatest teachers that we have access to and so like what i've come to realize i feel like it's something i have i i've already known but it's just i've been reminded of and i've been giving given a way to articulate better is that all all anxiety is all stress is, is it's the place where you're holding on to. Um, it's, it's the place where you're, you're stuck on, where you're getting caught, where you're getting hung up on, where you're holding your breath. And, and you think about like just in daily life, say, for example, um, your friend is driving you and then the way he drives makes you kind of like anxious so you you know how when you get anxious you sort of like hold on to the seat like holding on gripping it tight in the hopes that like doing that will like somehow do something um or another example is you're you're on a airplane you're about to take off and some people are afraid of airplanes right so then they hold on to their seat you know they grab really tight and it's like they're all clutched up um and it's, it's sort of this anxiety and stress is 
you can almost put it like it's an it's an illusion in that you think that by being by tensing up and by holding on and and like clutching on to things that that somehow that'll like ease your tension and and like help but that's the very thing that keeps you in that anxiety and stress and so the secret really is to just is to well first of all you have to be you have to become aware of where you're holding on to right and then when you become aware of where you're holding on to then it's to let go of the hold and that's all anxiety is it's just anxiety is not a bad thing it's just it's like a messenger or a signal to you telling you where you're holding on to right so so whenever you get anxious when you get fearful and you notice that it's like huh what you notice that and you sort of have to take up the courage to experience the feeling fully rather than trying to avoid it right because when you're grabbing onto the the car seat or the airplane seat tightly you're trying to avoid that feeling of anxiety but you can't escape it like it's already there but but as soon as you you let go you release you relax your body you breathe slowly rather than in a panic breath or or holding your breath you let your breath go and you breathe slowly then suddenly it, it's almost like the anxiety and the fear sort of just fades along with it when you're learning something be it a physical skill or a mental skill at first you get all clutched up and very like clumsy and rigid in in the way you do things it feels like it's effortful it feels like you have to follow a sequence of steps and and it's only when it's when you master it right it becomes it's no longer a sequence of steps it's just a continuous flow a successive flow and it doesn't feel like broken down parts that you have to get each of them right and in that way it becomes effortless and and then the the stress and the anxiety that comes from the the effortfulness in the initial stages that all fades and it's the same idea with 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 stress anxiety and fear you sort of you have to allow yourself to move through it without without condemning it as bad without trying to push it away without saying to yourself oh i shouldn't feel this way why am i feeling this way and say so you just let that feeling be and you and you sort of let yourself pervade through that feeling it's like when you try to get rid of anxiety it's like swimming trying to swim against the current but what if you could just go with the current and let it take you right that's where we're unwilling to go but it's in that where we find peace and tranquility if you look for perfection, then all you see are flaws. But if you look into the flaws, then all you see is perfection. And that's what love really is. That's what peace really is. That's what freedom really is. When you're there, you're there. See you next time. <clears throat> Peace.